three, two, one, we're going to sing happy birthday to these fine folks. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you all. 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 I had accumulated some bad business debt and uh, still making good money I was at the time, but the trustee said, there's no question, you're bankrupt. There's no possible way you could possibly carry on owing the money that you owe and earning the money that you're earning. And that was a blow. That was a bad blow to me. I was, uh, I was devastated. I was really devastated. Because I was, uh, you know, I was successful, I thought. I was selling lots of houses. I was having fun in my career, but it was just not enough to, to handle some large debt that I incurred. And I go do our first grocery run, and I'm at the till, and I pay the cashier. She gives me my change, and I say, thank you. And she says, oh, you're welcome, my love. That stunned me. <laughs> My love, <laughs> truly, that literally stopped me in my tracks. My love, this cashier at Sobeys calling me my love. <laughs> and I go home to Kim and I said, this, look, this is what happened at, at Sobeys. And he said, well, Tina, we talk like that here, you know, <laughs> this is, that's the way we talk here. I get this letter in the mail and it's all scratchy with no postal code. It's from somewhere in North Vancouver, no name. I'm opening up the mail, and of course all the mail is coming, and the girls are there, my staff. And I said, I wonder what this is, so I tore it apart. And I just pull it apart, pull it out like this. And it's a $5 bill with, I hope it helps. And nothing else in this envelope. So interestingly, when the doors opened at 6 o'clock for the 7 o'clock show, and I saw one little lady take her seat up front, I think my staff were in a panic, but I still smiled approvingly. I really believed they would come. And of course, by 10 after 6, I could see a lineup, and by 20 after 6, the management had come to me and said, Eric, we have a problem. What's that? They said, the lineup for your show is so far out in the parking lot, the cars can't get in. <laughs> so I lost years of my life were not sleeping, tossing and turning, and not believing in myself. And it got so bad that I turned to a family member, so I gotta do something. Like, I can't be this person anymore. I can't. I can't live this life. I can't, I can't be false to my friends. I lost so many good friends. My dear friend Brock Ballard. Like, things that I'd done, I was so sorry for. And still am to this day. Because I wasn't me. I wasn't. I was somebody else. I was living somebody else's life and I was letting somebody else control my life. Keep in mind, we're always looking for stories. He, absolutely. So, before you leave, before you leave, pay your bill. <laughs>